My name's John Dean, I'm a project manager for 2G Energy. Uh, we're here at Forstone Sapphire Mill in Glen Rothis in Fife. Uh, we've installed a 2 megawatt container ICHP and a 1 megawatt steam generator. So uh, Forstone Sapphire Mill approached 2G to see if we could provide a solution to reduce their overall energy costs or operational energy costs. With 2G were able to provide a full turnkey solution. The project was divided into four main elements, the groundworks and civils, steam connection, the low temperature water connections and the electrical connections. I'm Peter Duxbury, uh, Managing Director at Four Storms Paper Mill and we're on our uh, Sapphire Mill site in uh, Leslie in Fife. We looked at other options, we looked at gas turbines uh, and gas engines and we decided that 2G could provide uh, what we wanted and uh, give us the backup that we wanted moving forward. It was from my research and a recommendation from a, uh, a consultant that we use. We're in the process of evaluating now that the units have been running, but it's, uh, it's significant. It, it looked as though it was going to match what we required. Um, we had various options as well, and we did look at other options, but uh, no, the 2G solution was, I think, really a really good fit for what we wanted. As far as the, uh, the installation, the delivery, uh, the correspondence and the communication, brilliant. Can't really fault it. Um, it was a turnkey project. Um, so in one respect I had very little to do with it uh, in way of specification um, but day-to-day -day communication, the way the project went, particularly with Covid and all the other restrictions, I don't think it could have gone any better. The civil and groundworks were particularly difficult due to the location of the plant room. What we ended up doing was removing a large section of retaining wall and excavating approximately a thousand cubic metres of earth to make a large enough footprint for the equipment to be positioned much closer to the plant room. This resulted in much smaller pipe and cable sizes, less installation time on site and ultimately cost. The steam connections were quite straightforward. 2G modelled the CHP and the steam output. We were able to size the steam according to the output of the CHP. The electrical connections, due to the proximity of the equipment to the HV distribution substation within the mill, there was a quite substantial cable between the CHP and the HV switch. This was installed on containment trunking throughout the mill and down to the main distribution of the HV. In order to utilise a the full thermal energy of the low temperature water circuit, we interfaced with two processes within the mill, one being the hot well for the existing steam boilers within the mill. The second process was for a paper and water pulp mixture, which is a part of the paper mills process. The project went live in February of 2020 with an expected completion date of October 2020. What we were able to do is accelerate the project by two months but also starting the CHP providing beneficial use for the customer in July of 2020. From my perspective, from an engineering perspective, it's delivering the power, the steam and the hot water that I was expecting. Generally, the team, the backup, everything else, technical expertise, yeah, it's, they know what they're doing. But the biggest benefit for, for us, from an engineering perspective, is the hot water. It stabilised our boiler feed system, which was a real headache. We've been very happy, it's been a very well managed project, very professional and the quality of the installation is very good, so we're happy. I'd like to thank Four Stone Sapphire Mill for all the support throughout the project uh, and we look forward to working with them in the future.